Hey guys, Corey with Camel. I'm just gonna do a quick video here just on my phone tonight. Um, was working in the garage, was working on the Tenere, uh, had a bunch of stuff apart, went to restart the bike, wouldn't start. Realized that I hadn't plugged something in, so plugged it back in, now the bike runs, but it's got check engine light. So that's a giant pain. Uh, now the check engine light's on, gotta take it to the dealer to get it cleared. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I found uh, an extension cord randomly that will plug your uh, an OBD2 code reader from a car into the bike, and you can check codes and clear them, which is awesome. Um, and they're like 20 bucks. It's this guy here, Amazon, 20 bucks. It's beauty. That's the Yamaha end. This is the um, the regular OBD2 scanner end. And we're gonna come over here on the bike. This is the diagnostic port. It's got a little rubber cap on here. Sorry, this is gonna suck. I'm trying to hold this. Ah. So let me set this here. So it's just got a little rubber cap on here. Pop that cap off. Plug this end of the code reader adapter into it. Plug your scanner in. You can get these scanners like super cheap, like 30 bucks off eBay or Amazon. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of options here. I'm gonna click the, click the ignition on on the bike. And then I'm just gonna come down here, OBD2, scan. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. It goes through all of, uh, all of the checks. And then we're gonna get a screen that, oh, that didn't take very long at all. So codes found one. So you hit OK, and it's gonna say read codes, stored code. So HO2S heater control circuit bank one. So um, I had an aftermarket um, oxygen sensor in the bike. Uh, doing some tuning with ECU and just had a different oxygen sensor, didn't have something plugged in properly, but that's what that code is. So we're gonna go back here, back, erase code. Are you sure? Yes. Erase done. Read codes, stored codes, no code stored in module. Awesome. So we can unplug this. Try and hold this with my face again. Come on, get that. So we're done. Here, turn the ignition off. I'm gonna snap that dust cap back in here so I don't forget. Sorry, I should have a tripod or something, but I don't. That guy back on the post. And then we're going to come back up here, start the bike. Great success. So um, if you're out traveling, you're on a trip uh, and you have a check engine light pop up on your bike and you're like, oh no, I'm however far from home uh, and don't know what to do, don't know what's wrong with the bike, don't even know where to start. You can carry one of those cables, uh, all, like every garage has an OBD2 scanner, almost every parts store will scan a vehicle for you for free uh, because they want to sell you the parts. Whatever you need to fix it, they want to sell you the parts. So if you carry that link cable, um, you can plug it into any OBD2 scanner. You can also get little Bluetooth Wi-Fi ones. Um, they're really small. They're like the size of a film canister, little itty bitty thing. Uh, and it would plug into that adapter and then you can download the app and you can read it off your phone. So you can actually have real time um, viewing of critical things. Uh, engine temperature, voltage, oil pressure, all of that kind of stuff, fuel pressure on your phone if you want to read all that stuff. But if you have an issue, you know what it is right away. Um, best of all, you can clear your own coats, which saves a trip to the dealer and, you know, a hundred and whatever dollar charge uh, for that service. So um, obviously we don't sell them. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not doing this video to sell a bunch of stuff. Um, just if I'm doing a review video, especially if it's something that we don't sell, know that it's something uh, that I truly believe is a great product and um, that you should look into purchasing. I'll put a link in the description uh, for a few options off Amazon, eBay. Uh, check it out. $20 well spent. Bye. <laughs>